Get a ride in the engine that could. Oh. Bang, bang, cockin' it, queen, Nikki, dominant, prominent. It's me, Jesse, and Ari. What's up? What's up, DD? What's up, Tropic? Hope Angela's AFP for MJ's reaction. Can we stop pretending like, like we know exactly what's happening this finale right <laughs> like this finale is purely performative you know what i mean thank you for the congrats thank you dd and tropic thank you card girl uh bad day for the cards lisa spencil finale When's the last season that the game was, like, everything was locked up? I guess 23 was pretty locked up. 23, we knew X was going to win and Tiffany was going to be AFP. I guess Derek X had a chance, too. Thank you, Miss Daya. Thank you all. How you doing? The Ravens, hey. Could have been 2-3 and three last week, but they're putting it together. Angela for AFP. Hey, I voted for Quinn. Quinn got my votes. Thank you, Nino, for the tier one. Kyler, after getting the Call of Duty sponsor, can't play anymore. Tale as old as time. Quinions are up. Look, I think uh, anyone... What's the top three predictions for AFP? I think most people think it's going to be Tucker, Angela, and somebody. I think it's going to be Quinn, Leah, or MJ. I think Angela and Tucker, you'd think. Yo, Bubs Ford, partner. That's right. Finally, am a partner. So we're going to have to make new emotes. And I can confirm the costume streams tomorrow. It's happening. I know it's been weirdly inconsistent recently. Obviously, we've been sick is the main reason. You might hear it in my voice a little bit, but I feel almost perfect at this point. Um, also, let, let me say something, because I feel like some people are annoyed about the Patreon, and I get it. I think we should stop over-promising, but I am happy with the amount of content we're putting on there in general it's like a minimum of like three hours a week of stuff and then sometimes bonus stuff so like that's all i want to say about that like i think we should stop not delivering what we promise but the idea that we're not posting st I, that's a little bit silly i think you need to advertise it more of course but people are not complaining about that <laughs> uh but some Patreon stuff, in case people are curious. No, I'm, I'm graduated. Do you guys want to see something, actually? This is exciting. Check it out. It's kind of hard to see the glare, but it's a fancy little diploma. My parents brought it. But, um, yeah, so they, they just gave us a piece of paper. My parents framed it, and it was like a gift, so that was very nice of them. But the um, Patreon, we are uploading the VOD of Bowie and uh, Me and America watching The Eviction Night. So that TikTok VOD is going to be on the Patreon we're doing a Q&A and stuff today at the event, which we're recording. That'll be on the Patreon. What we're going to try to do with the Patreon is just be more scheduled. Like, everything is posted the same time, the same day. And post more random stuff. Like pictures and um, short videos. And, like, treat it more like a feed than just, you know, a place to post unlisted YouTube links. Thank you, Mom. I appreciate it. But the one thing America and I are trying to be conscious of is just more consistent schedule. 
Because, like, we post a lot, but it's always random times, and it's just obnoxious. But anyways, uh, who's in L.A. for the finale? Any of you? Anyone in L.A.? You're going to New York for our hap? We're not. Thank God. It would be way too much. We're going to Houston, though. We're going to the Houston RHAP event. Oz's guest list is terrible. I don't think it's terrible. It's definitely like a certain group of people. But they, they got a lot of people. I saw a Porsche there. I thought it was cool. Porsche was kind of fun. Do you think Chelsea will bring MJ? I think Chelsea's going to bring Cam. I think she should bring Cam. I think bringing MJ gets very dangerous. I think she wins, like, pretty safely. But I think there's a world she seems to bring in MJ. I saw her floating the idea to Cam. But Cam is a much better choice. Like, here's, here's the danger if Chelsea takes MJ. These are not the votes she's definitely going to lose, but these are the votes she could lose. Angela seems like she would vote MJ. Leah, I think, is on the fence, but that could be an MJ vote. If she cuts Cam, I think Cam would still vote Chelsea, but that could also be an MJ vote if she feels burnt by him. Or if he feels burnt by her. I don't know how she loses another vote. I think the next vote is Rubina. Because Rubina did say she just likes MJ more than Chelsea. And Rubina's not going to have time to talk to the other jurors. So there's a... Meanwhile, if she takes Cam, I think it's 7-0 or 6-1. She could just lose MJ's vote, potentially. Unless Angela is so anti-Chelsea. She votes Cam. Next to Cam, I think she's 7-0 or 6-1. Next to MJ... I think it could be 4-3, and it could even flip for MJ. That's kind of scary. Do you think Rubina knows it was a dumb move for MJ to cut her? She made it sound that way, but it's kind of hard to hold that opinion if MJ makes it to the end. You know? Like, from the outside, we could say it, but Rubina might be like, well... Look, it wasn't a dumb move if Chelsea takes MJ and MJ wins. If MJ has a good chance against Chelsea and Jury, we have to reevaluate a lot of her game. That's the truth. Like, if MJ beats Chelsea, we can look back in retrospect and be like, oh, getting rid of Leah, getting rid of this was all bad. But it's kind of like Josh. Like, Josh choosing to go to the end with Paul was genius because Josh won. Paul wins. It's like, what is wrong with this guy? So if MJ wins over Chelsea, I Chelsea's a, or MJ's a better player than I thought she was. Dude, I really heard nothing really changing, you know? But the whole criticism of MJ's game was like, you're playing for Chelsea's win. I don't see Leah voting MJ over Chelsea. Look, I, you never know. What you saw in jury doesn't... Like, from my jury clips, everyone thought I was voting for Matt. Rightfully so, like... There's so much time in the jury house. And what's interesting is the stuff you see recorded from the jury is just like the first few hours of the person getting there. They actually absorb all the information and talk about the game for the next five days. So you're almost seeing like the least representative few hours of the jury. Do you think Roundtable helps Rubina understand the dynamic better? It could. I don't know. The round table, they kind of force you to talk about everyone's game positively. I think I think Leah would vote MJ. I don't know, but I they're a lot closer. I love the song. Chelsea's gonna have a killer speech. Look, if Chelsea kills her in the speech, that could be a lot too, but who knows if anyone's votes actually flip. Did you ever watch the edit of your roundtable? Yeah, it was just watered down, and I understand why. 
I think most of our fights were not related to the game at all. Like, we fought about Bowie for a while, but most of our uh, fights were, like, about our own games, not about the final three. Who does Chelsea take? I think she should take Cam, but she's been floating the idea to Cam that I might have to take MJ. And look, if if Chelsea takes MJ and Cam's going to vote for her anyways, I think she wins. No matter what, like I don't think it's possible for her to leave to lose T-Core, Chemo or Quinn. I think those three are locked in for her, and if Cam's locked in, she wins anyways, and it doesn't really matter. Um, so maybe that makes her decision easier. Yeah, so I saw the conversation. It's just I don't know. I think Cam needs to understand that $75,000 is a lot compared to 10 or 15 or whatever third gets. Chelsea told MJ that God wants them at the end together. <laughs> I think Chelsea, no matter what Chelsea's actual decision is, she's going to say whatever she needs to to MJ to get MJ to take her. That's like... I've been very salty, though. Very bitter Betty on Twitter. Everyone talking about how this is the best season in 10 years. Maybe not for me. I think I'm a hater. I think I'm a hater. For me, it doesn't get close to being better than 17, 18, 20 at all. 17, 18, and 20 are on a different world. Um, and then I think it's right in line with like 23. It's a good season. Do you think these house kits would be more sought after 25 is greater than 26? I think it's hard to say 25 is a better season than 26 because like we always reminisce about the awesome six weeks, but the second half of our game was unbearable. Thank you, DBZ. Thanks for the congrats. AI Arena would not have helped us, JC. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah, I, I was not a big fan of 23 or 24. Like, I think, honestly... Um, yeah, the, the, the problem with 26 for me was just, like, the cast on feeds was not as fun for me to watch because they were just very fun and kumbaya. And obviously, there's Angela and stuff. That was all, like, in the first two weeks, like... It was also a lot of games and singing and napping and You blame me? I don't know. It should have been a really exciting endgame with the people left. It should have been me and America versus Matt and Jag and Surrey wins an HOH is fun. We just It was a tough endgame. We got I think the biggest thing that honestly sets apart this season from last season, this season had better comp outcomes. Until, like, the final five or six weeks where it was just MJ, Chelsea, MJ, Chelsea, MJ, Chelsea. Our comp outcomes were just tough. It, it's hard to have an interesting season with the way it shook out. Night Cheese. I appreciate you. Thank you all. I, I'm so excited to start streaming a lot again. I miss it. Just, like... Not even Big Brother streaming. I'm sure the viewership's going to be down, and that's okay. I want to... I feel like we've lost a bit of the community feeling and the coming up with ideas and stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. I think becoming a partner is maybe... And being a partner doesn't even give you that many benefits. But, like, I don't want to waste, you know, this. MJ winning comps is still better than the Mafia. I think, like, MJ winning comps is fun because MJ is insane as a player. She does crazy... She makes crazy decisions. <laughs> so there's always something to talk about every week. The first boring week was the final five. Truly. And even that had some interest, intrigue. For our, like, post-jury for us, the Cameron boot week was very... 
it, it was like anxious. Will Cam win the veto? But strategy wise, there was not much going on. Comic week was exciting, and Double Back Door is good, but there were so many problems with the way they designed the twists that week that I think it just put a damper on everything. The final seven was a dead week. The double was terrible. The final five was a dead week. The final four was a dead week. It was just our, our jury, everything was bad. And we had zombie week to start it all, you know. Yeah, like, I, here's what I'll say about MJ. I think she's good casting. I think she's great. I think a lot of people say she's boring, which I could understand. Like, she's not like a dynamic personality on camera. But she made the season so much more interesting because of her decisions. And she had a lot of moments. Well, yeah, so, Nino, we uh, we recorded um, I Heart New York on YouTube TV, so that's what we'll start watching next. People seem to forget that Chelsea's won more HOHs than anyone ever. It's kind of unbelievable to me that no one's won five before. I could have sworn Cody got five, but I guess he won a lot of vetoes. Zombie Week was worse than Janky Week and Dire Fest, for sure. People in, uh, who's Corey Swartenberger? Shut up. <sighs> yeah, BB Can, though, had, like, some of the most inequitable comps of all time for a while. Like... <laughs> It wasn't even inequitable, it was just, like, gameable. Honestly, Eric, though, like, one thing I've learned since going on the show is there's no point of discrediting any competition win. Because Janelle's a comp beast. I'm watching Big Brother 7. I want to discredit every comp she's won. Except, like, one or two. Like, all comps are super silly. And I like silly comps, you know? Like, Janelle's a comp beast, and it's all just, like, random quizzes and how much do you want it comps, you know? Like, it's it's fun. And, like, Chelsea winning five HOHs, I don't care how she got there. It's, it's five HOHs. And, like, obviously, I think the, the example everyone points to is, like, Blue winning that veto. And I think it's silly to, like, flex winning that veto over and over again. But it counts as much as any veto, like, you know. We can't simultaneously ask for equitable comps, and then when we get the crapshoots, be like, eh, it was a crapshoot, doesn't count, you know? Like, it is what it is. I think it's definitely something where you could be like, oh, they're not going to reliably win comps. If that's like a criticism of them as a player, sure. MJ's jury questions are going to be tough to watch. I don't know. I don't think this jury feels like the type that's going to grill... The final two. They're too nice. Our cast wanted to grill them, but production watered down all the questions, to be honest. Is there not a chance Chelsea cuts MJ? It doesn't seem likely, but I don't know. It's the right call. She really should. Mackenzie doesn't value strategy as much as Chelsea does. I don't know. MJ should cut Chelsea. Oh, of course. Thank you, Martins. The tier one. What question did you want to ask? There was a question to Bowie that was name one move you made that wasn't bad. There was a question to Jag about, um, we all agree that you played, uh, played well for the second half of the game, but why did you play like such a coward? That was a good one. Uh, we had a question about, like, Matt. Like, 
like Matt, you save like we all know you saved Jag in week four. Was that so he can run your entire game or something? Like the problem is our questions were very pointed. Do you think they should stay with prices right rules? Yeah, I think it's fine. That's on the contestants. Like it's just easier to calculate in the moment. Like they're all just guessing numbers anyways. I think it's fine. Someone had MJ, Katie. I think Lisa did, but she was just rooting for her. It was funny. So there was this uh, U.S. Weekly article that Mike Volpo um, from Entertainment Weekly, he's the guy who interviewed, or Us Weekly, he's the one who interviewed me and America um, a while ago for like our couples interview or whatever it was. And he, uh, I thought this was a funny tweet. He tweeted, uh, we asked at Tay Mac, Corey Wurtenberger, and Josh Martinez, and 15 others. Which I'm like, damn, that is very flattering, because look at the people. It's like, Taylor. Get, get, get away from here, Taylor. Come on. Uh, Lisa, Jag, Cody, Tyler, Haley, Nicole Franzel, Memphis, me in America, Claire, Josh, and they pulled my dumbass at Corey Wurtenberger. <laughs> Just so random. I was like, all right, sure, I'll take it. I heard Bowie Jane hated my pixel art. Oh, God, Jonathan, it was so stupid. Can you make a higher res version? Or is that impossible? Like, I'm trying to explain it's pixel art. And I think she kept thinking it was just blurred out. I actually am planning on making uh, a hat with it, Jonathan. So if you can make a higher res version, I'll take a picture of a pink hat in 1080p. That's not helpful. So I am going to make a merch shop of just like one or two items that I thought would be cool. Um, one of them is going to be a pink hat with the pink hat emote on it. I think that'd be funny. But I'm not going crazy with merch or anything. I'm not trying to make... Like hats are really not even profitable. But I, I just think it'd be cool. Bowie's influence? Not even. Bowie's like, you should do t-shirts. T-shirts and hoodies are the most profitable. I'm like, I don't have anything to sell on a t-shirt production was working overtime to ruin bb25 okay sure i'll just add more pixels i'll venmo you something jonathan seven dollars jonathan i was thinking about it you me daniel and matt should go to uh japan at some point it's so cheap So just quit your job. I know Matt's already gone, so <laughs> you'll translate. By the way, my friend Jonathan is Chinese, so. Hence my giggle. Not Matt, goo boy, yeah. Just quit your job, yeah. He works at a, he's uh, in marketing at a vape company. But his company's vapes are actually healthy. He swears by him. Is that ethical? Ask him. Ask him. Yeah, I'm going to stream for another 20 minutes because we're going to go set up the event, but... We're just hanging out. If anyone's got any tweets they want me to see about the finale, none look at them. I don't think healthy exists for that. Nah, trust me. Trust me. Huge innovations in the vape field. I want PB27 to be space themed. Like Big Brother Canada with the spaceship. Let's do a quick tier list. <coughs> Excuse me.
Excuse me. Uh, I'm making it right now. One second, y'all. Bring my bag with the FBJ t-shirt. Of course I will. So, here's the tier list, okay? Here's the tier list. It is coming back, maybe, probably not, no shot. And we'll do this for BB25 after, okay? So, coming back, Tucker. Coming back, Chelsea, if Chelsea wants to. Maybe, I'll throw a Quinn in there. Throw MJ in there. Maybe Angela. Maybe. Eh. I, I think this is how I would do it, honestly. I think this is the ranking. Move Leah up? I don't think so. I, I just think, like, if, if I was casting, it'd be very different, but they just don't do very many returning player seasons. If, if the challenge comes back, we'd have a very different tier list here, but I think this is, this is the list. Cedric's a maybe? I, I don't know. I hope so. I think Cedric would be great. I just think, you know, you go home that early. It's tough sometimes. Chelsea's really not that popular anywhere, not even Facebook. It doesn't matter. She's a legend of the game. She's a legend of the game. If she wants to come back and they're doing a returning season, they will ask Chelsea. A million percent. And they like her on the show. She always has a ton of DRs. She's always, you know, talking. Like, I think that's almost more telling than, like, who wins AFP. It's like, who do they clearly like? Maybe season 30? Maybe. Season 20 was all new players. All right. Now, just to show I'm not biased, let me do BB25. Because I don't want to act like I'm a hater. So, Big Brother 25, Jag's coming back. Uh, J coming back for Big Brother, like... Honestly, don't do Izzy like that. Yeah, remember, this is Big Brother. This is CBS's decision. They could have made Izzy the star of the season. They really should have, and they gave her no edit. America's in probably not. I, I think they would have given her a bigger edit. I wouldn't put Cam in maybe. I think they're I think they've I think the experiment has played out with Cam. I think they're done. Maybe not Heisem. Yeah, I mean they loved Heisem on the show is the only reason I, I put Heisem up here. Heisem got a huge edit and they had so much fun with him. And he is iconic and memorable. Like The cast Loki sucks? I don't think so. 
Like, I think here's the problem. Like, our cast is always going to be marred down by the fact that there was a lot of problematic shit happening. But Jared was an insane person to watch on the feeds. Izzy was insane to watch on the feeds. Um, Suri, obviously, is Suri. America's America. Like, just because you're in this category doesn't make you bad casting. Like, a lot of people's favorites are in this category. Matt is a maybe? I don't think so. I think they hated Matt on the show. Not The producers didn't hate Matt or anything, but... They were struggling to use him for anything. And, like, this is a factor, of course. He also is a white dude. Like, they're not lacking for white dudes to bring back. So it's a factor. It's not, the, it's not a massive factor, but, like, you know. There's a lot of people they could pick instead of Matt. Like, Tucker is going to take Matt's spot. <laughs> Kirsten's a maybe? Yeah. Look, BB-25 had more rootable people and more hateable people, which made for a more engaged fan base. Maybe not a better, uh, healthier viewing experience. The only adjustment I was thinking about making was this. Because <laughs> they do love Blue on the show. It felt like, at least. I don't think so. But I, they did like Blue on the show. She had a lot of screen time, I think, relative to her impact granted if it was like who would they ask on the challenge it would be like a whole different like combination you know what i mean oh what's up bowie are we planning on leaving in like 15 yeah okay I'm ready. i'll uh, i'll get off in 10 I feel like it would be just like this, and then like maybe. I think that'd be the list. And I think that would be the only people even in contention for anything. Maybe this, but like I don't think so. Bowie for the challenge. Yeah, she has the DJing alliance with Nehemiah. <laughs> Is Blue and Jared still together? Yes, I think they're expecting. Did Bowie enjoy line dancing? None of her songs came on. It was so sad. Because you're a naughty, 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 naughty. <laughs> I do fear Jared would be perfect for the challenge. <laughs> like, what a mess. It'd be... It'd be something does bowie live with you guys now seems like it oh this is crazy <laughs> a best bb26 tweet stream yeah it sounds awesome maybe i'll do that with like quinn i think that'd be really fun i think he'd enjoy that a lot So the, the streams I have coming up about BB26, because we'll do a couple, like, post-game stuff. I'm thinking of doing a Best Tweets and the BB26 Awards. I think the BB26 Awards is going to be funny. How do you think you and America would do in Cupid Games if it was real? I think we would need to... Benefit from all the other couples being older. <laughs> because I think we'd be in trouble. Comp-wise, they're all comp beasts. These showmances. Do BB26 awards with Joseph? I was thinking about it. Seems like a funny idea. Do you guys have FOMO that you're not in LA? Absolutely not. Whatever the opposite of FOMO is, that's what I feel like I have. I, I've seen all these pictures, all these people hanging out, and I'm sure they're having a good time, but um, it's too much for us. Is Zach taking your plays? I'm sure he's going to be hanging out there. 
You should do a superlative survey for BB-26 house guests for us to fill out. Yeah, I wonder if there's a different way of doing the BB-26 awards. I think I'll send the form out on one of my streams and then reveal it, you know, on the stream instead of doing the polls. I think the polls get a little bit messy. A Corey Quinn stream would heal the nation. I mean, it'll happen. It's a matter of time. How many ops about to go up to Quinn acting all nice? I don't think there's that many ops of Quinn's. I think Quinn got a little bit lucky he got evicted when he did. Because I think like there was a lot of hate towards him. And then he got evicted. And I feel like it's been all positive since. So I think like uh, public opinions turned in his favor. At a good timing by the time he's leaving the house. What I hope he doesn't do is like do what I did and go back on Twitter to like weeks one, two, three, four, five. Because that's when you're going to see all, like, the he's being creepy bullshit and, the, you know, that kind of thing. The him being racist on the live show, remember that? Or on the edited show with the Angela T-Core situation, even though he literally did nothing. Like, for you guys, it, like, doesn't matter. Like, it's so far ago, but seeing that shit about yourself is crazy. Thank you, JPR, for the gift. I appreciate you. He had one out of context DR and people jumped him. Yeah, it was insane. America, like, took my phone away because I was about to tweet so much shit. So much shit. And people were like, he's, she's like, this is not a good look. And I'm like, I know it's not a good look, but I just want to... Quinn is creepy. That's a timeout. Good call by America. No, I know. I know it was the right call. Thanks, Anime Gamer. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. Leah never called him creepy. Twitter did. Uh, Leah called him some stuff. Like, <laughs> this is some stuff. It was. I don't know if it was ever those exact words, but it was definitely the implication. I don't think that's a huge reach. Yeah, the RHAP hated Quinn stuff is stupid. But they were saying the same thing about me, right? Like, you guys were like, oh my god, RHAP's being so mean to Corey. Taryn's being... Like, you guys were jumping Taryn when Taryn would shit-talk my game. I think it's just you're like... Like, Showman's fans or, like, the people who are fans of Quinn. Like, it's the same kind of group, and they're very protective. The Quinn stuff, like... They were tougher on Quinn. Well, okay. To be fair... Quinn played a lot worse than me. <laughs> like, I think I think there is a correlation there. Um, but I think the the Quinn criticism of like the Quinn and Leah, you don't see them being together. Like, it's just kind of hard because they're not going to be together most likely. Like, it definitely seems that way, and it seemed like that was the most likely outcome the whole time. But by saying that, people think you're hating on Quinn. And if you are directly hating on Quinn, like some people have, that's its own problem. But I was just on the Rob's podcast. I was on the ups. I, I don't think they're going to be a thing. <laughs> Calling him inauthentic. I, all I heard was what Taryn said. Where Taryn said, like, when it when he's doing cam talks, it seems a little bit authentic. Like he has, like, a protective shield up, which... I think that was normal commentary. That did not strike me as mean. I think the Stockholm Syndrome stuff was a bad analogy. And I think they apologized for that. I agree with that. I think that was a bad analogy. That was just kind of clumsy. Why do people feel like they need to tell us whether or not that will be a thing? Well, you're asked the question on the podcast. <laughs> I think very few like bring it up themselves. Like I was asked straight up.
You're still on the picture? Good. Y'all sound so stuffy. I feel good. I feel very good. I woke up this morning, no sore throat, no nothing. Just a little congested. That's all. Okay, any last things before I head off? Because we're going to go to the event. It's going to be super fun. I cannot wait, personally. I got to catch up on Survivor. I'm obviously, I know what happens, but I haven't been, like, watching every minute. Plans after the event? Um, none, really. I don't know. I'm sure we'll go out somewhere. Uh, but yeah, the uh, watch party tonight. We're watching the finale. Hosting an event. I appreciate it, Jan. All right, y'all. Have fun. I'll probably be tweeting. Gonna put some stuff on the Patreon as well. Any Survivor peeps coming? Uh, yeah, Julie from Survivor 45 is coming. Are y'all going to the Bryson Wynn event in Nashville? Up in the air. Up in the air. But anyways, thank you all.